So a problem like this, we have a numerator that's 7, but we really aren't concerned with that at all. So the 15, if we can find two factors of 15 that add up to 8, then in this one, it would give us 7 over those two factors with the x. So it looks like I've got um, 3 and 5. So x plus 3 and x plus 5 this is what f of x equals. So in other words, in the domain, x cannot be anything that would make the denominator 0, which means that if x plus 3 or x plus 5 equals 0, just like we've been doing, then it can't be part of the domain. So I solve x plus 3, does it equal 0? Or what values of x make it 0? And that would be when x is negative 3. What about x plus 5 when it equals 0? Well, x would be negative 5. Now, these are values that x cannot be, so we should indicate that with this slash. It is very possible that they may ask you to do this. No, yeah, I think they're going to ask for set, set notation. So we have that's. There's some fancy brackets. X such that X is all real numbers. They may ask you to write that out or just choose one. But X also cannot equal negative 3 or 5. Bam. Like those fancy brackets. They're very classy.